In this video, we will see what we can obtain from a design made using ADCAD and how to complete the final architectural layout. For example, we want to create a perspective view of our building. We have an appropriate object that we can use as a camera. Let's add it to the drawing, then select it to see the perspective view. Now we can see the effect after removing the hidden lines and with the shaded view. Another ADCAD powerful tool is the integration of POV-RAY, a sophisticated ray trace radiosity render engine. ADCAD allows you to choose from a wide set of options like room light, background image, etc. For example, let's add an infinite horizontal plane at the bottom of our building. Let's also add some light to our scene. In this case, we use a parallel ray light like the sun and two point lights. We can set the intensity, color and position of the light source. Furthermore, you can manage and create materials as you wish and attach them to the layers. As you can see in the dialog box, on the right we have the list of all the materials grouped into categories and on the left the list of the layers that you can use in your drawing. In the middle you can see the preview and with the attach button you can link a material to one or more layers. The export to POV-RAY can be done by selecting a camera in order to render a perspective view or simply render the current view by pressing the enter key. Let's now see the rear perspective view. Now we select an isometric view and zoom to the entrance area. Then we export the scene without specifying a camera but by simply pressing the enter key. An important task is obviously to produce elevation and section views. Also in this case, a number of options are available. For example, let's choose to use the layer of the objects. To obtain sections, a number of symbols are available to choose from. As for the elevations, all you have to do is to draw a line external to the building and fix a point. There are lots of symbols that you can select to obtain all kinds of sections. We just choose a simple one with a single cut plane. Now we modify the line length and insert the symbol in the desired position. By just selecting, the section view is immediately generated. Let's see one last capability, how to generate the 2D view from any viewpoint in our 3D model. To do this, after changing the viewpoint, we select the View option to generate the current 2D view. Let's see another tool greatly appreciated by ADCAD users, the calculation of room data and their grouping into dwelling units. From the setting dialog box in ADCAD, you can choose the model you prefer. There are models including summary tables or simple labels to add to the rooms. The room definition begins by adding the building unit, room ID and other data that can be present according to the chosen model. While defining the first room, we need to also add the table in which we indicate the number of rooms. Of course, we can change this data at any time. Lastly, we must give an internal point in the room. The green outline indicates that the calculation has been performed correctly. Let's quickly proceed with the other rooms and note how a new row of data is added to the table. Of course, it's possible to calculate the summary of all data in the table and update it in case we need to modify our project. 
AdCAD has a rich choice of useful functionalities for the complete dimensioning of the drawing. Let's see an example of an automatic type of dimension for the internal of rooms. Once decided how and which symbol we want to use from the appropriate dialog box, we only need to indicate one internal point of the room we want to dimension. If excessive, unnecessary dimensions have been created, you can easily remove them by using the same command. Of course, AdCAD includes commands to automatically dimension plans and elevations. Let's see how to dimension the drawing of a plan. Once you have chosen the orientation and the other options, you only need to select the first and last line of the facade. Now, let's see the last and very important subject how to create the layout for printing. In the paper space we can open as many windows as the number of views we want to print. In each single window we specify what we want to see. In the first one, for example, we want to see the 2D plan of the first floor. In the floor management we deactivate the second floor and we choose to see the 2D view. In the second window we want to see the drawing plan of the second floor. So, let's deactivate the first floor. And in this case too, we then choose to see the 2D view only. To see only the section and the elevations, we only need to move their views inside the windows. In the last window, in the bottom left, we want to see and print an isometric shaded 3D view. To do so, we only need to position the desired viewpoint and activate the 3D command. AdCAD has many other interesting tools that we will soon show you in our new up-and-coming videos explaining its full potential.